Hello all, welcome to another session on JavaScript. In this session, we'll try to understand what is HTML document object model. What is a document object model and why we need this? So this is what is the focus for this session. But to understand document object model, let us uh, take a simple HTML web page. So this is the HTML web page I have considered. And uh, what is our objective here is we have some JavaScript code. Let's say that we have some JavaScript code that we are going to write. And this is our JavaScript code. So the objective here is from within the script, I should be able to perform certain manipulations on my web page. So it's like I'll be able to access the elements in the web page. I'll be able to change the styling for the elements. For instance, I can change the font color of this paragraph tag to red. I'll be able to apply a border to the element. So I can access the elements. So from within JavaScript, I'll be able to access the elements. That's the first thing. Access all the HTML elements. After accessing them, what I can do? I can change the styles. I can change the style for the element. I can add an element. I can remove an element. So I can delete an element. Say if I don't want this paragraph, I'll be able to remove that element by using JavaScript code. I'll be able to replace an element. What is replacing an element? So I can replace any element with another element. So how will I be able to achieve that? By using my JavaScript code. I will also be able to handle events. What are events here? Say when the user clicks a button. That's an event. When the user moves his mouse over a certain area on the web page, that's an event. So when the user performs some events, how do I handle those events? So I'll be able to handle events using my JavaScript code. So the objective here is I should be accessing the HTML document. Then I should be manipulating the elements. So that is the objective. So for this, we need some kind of programming interface. So this script needs some kind of programming interface to perform all these things to manipulate the document. So what is that interface is called? It's called the document object model. Okay, now let us take a closer look at the document object model. Let's see how exactly this web page is represented as a document object model so that our script can access the elements and perform the manipulations. Let me clear all the ink on this slide. This web page is actually represented as an object. The entire web page is represented as an object called the document. You can call this as the document object or the document node. So you take a web page, you represent that as an object. So an object with the name document and this object has got a lot of methods like write, uh, create, node, so we have a lot of methods for this object. And uh, whenever you want to work with this web page, you need to call the object document from within your JavaScript code. Say from within my script code, how will I access this web page? I will call it as document. So now in the document object model, the web page is represented as document. And I'll be calling the methods of the document object. Say I'll call write, and then I can pass some text, hello. And this will in turn manipulate this web page. It will put the text hello on the web page. So I'll be accessing this object called the document, which represents a web page in the Tom to manipulate the web page. Or will I manipulate it by calling methods of the object? Very simple. So what is that you have to understand here is a document is nothing but an entire web page, an object representation of an entire web page. Are you all clear with this? Now let us take a look at the other elements, the HTML elements within the web page, how they are represented in this document object model. So let me erase all link. So what we have understood is the entire web page is accessed using the document object. So what document represents is the entire web page. Now, if I want to access the contents within the HTML element. So we start an HTML web page with the HTML element, right? So if you want to access all the content within the HTML element, 
how is it you access that is you give document dot document element so this actually represents what it represents the html element whatever you have inside the html document so document dot document element is nothing but your html element and uh, you have other sections in your html document you have head you have body how is that you will access the head it's like you have to give document the web page dot head so you'll be able to access the head element likewise you have body how is that you access body it is document dot body so what is that we understand here is document is the object that represents a web page and this document contains html how you access html this is called the root element and this is accessed by using document dot document element that represents the html element and html contains two divisions right you have head and you have body so how you access this head it is document dot head and how you access the body it's document dot body for the web page so this is how the hierarchy is defined and within the head you have certain elements certain html elements so head has got this element meta which is falling under head and it has got a title so title and meta comes under the head section here so we can very well say meta and title they are the children children of head you understood so title and meta you can also have other things like a script and a link here which falls under the head section and that's why we say meta title to be the children of this head likewise when you take a look at the body for this document what all html elements come under this body you have the anchor tag paragraph tag h1 h2 at the div so all these elements all so all the html elements that come under this body is called the children of the body element so what are the children here p h1 h2 etc so you have an hierarchy here so this is actually the dom representation of the web page so the document is the entire web page and you have the html element that is the root element and within the html you have head and you have body and within the head you have some children and within the body you have some children we have understood that the entire web page is represented as an object called the document you can also say that it's the document node likewise every html element is also an object here so what do you mean by an object here an object will have its own methods and properties so every html element inside this web page is also an object uh, let me erase all this ink and let's take a closer look at that so what is that we understand here is the entire web page is an object we call that to be a node document node not only that every element every html element is also a node for instance you say you take uh, the head it's called an element node so you classify every element to be a node so everything here in this web page becomes an object that is the meaning here document is the main object whereas every element here is also another object for instance you talk about paragraph paragraph is again you call that to be another object or a node so paragraph has got its own properties and methods likewise h1 this again is another node so you say there are certain nodes all these nodes are called child nodes and these nodes are present within the body this is again another node and body is a child node for the root element html likewise head as con head contains many child nodes what are the child nodes here meta is a child node title is a child node and uh, these are the child nodes of head division so in the document object model document is the object and then every node is in turn an 
child node and all these nodes come under an hierarchy. So whenever you access an element, you are accessing an object, an object with properties and with its own methods. So that defines the object model or the document object model. So we'll be accessing, say when I want to manipulate the web page, what will I do? I'll be accessing the object and then the methods and the properties for the object to manipulate the object. I hope you have understood the hierarchy that is present in the document object model. What is the hierarchy? On top we have the document object or the document node and within that we have the HTML node. How you access the HTML node? It is document dot document element. And under the HTML node, you have two different nodes, that is the head node and the body node. The head node in turn has got many child nodes. So what are the child nodes? It can be meta, title, link, script. The head node has got a lot of child nodes. Likewise, body node has got a lot of child nodes. Here in this web page, what are the child nodes? Anchor tag, paragraph tag, h1, h2. Everything comes under the child nodes. So you can very well conclude like this, that is, your document or your web page in a document object model is made of nodes and child nodes. There are a lot of nodes and child nodes. So each and every node has got its own property and methods. And we also have a classification of these nodes. What do you mean by classification of nodes? Say I have text node, I have element node, I have document node, I have comment node. So these are the classifications of the nodes inside the DOM. So we'll see what are these various kinds of nodes now. Let me erase the ink on the slide. So we have a lot of nodes and child nodes here and uh, we classify them. What is the classification of the nodes? Uh, we call them to be element nodes. What are element nodes? All the HTML nodes are called element nodes. Say paragraph, h1, h2, a div. All these things come under element nodes. These are nothing but HTML elements. So you classify all the HTML elements as element nodes. You call them element nodes in DOM. Whereas there is some text, right? This is a paragraph. is a text that is being surrounded by the element nodes. So you call that text to be a text node. So this is a text node. This is an element node. Paragraph is an element, whereas this is a paragraph is some text. Likewise, this is some text. This, this is some text is again a text node. So you take any element. Say if I take H1, that is the HTML element. So you call H1 to be an element node. The text it surrounds. Say if I put some text within this, this is a heading like that. So this represents the text node. And uh, what is a comment node? Say if I put some comments in my web page. So this is a comment. This is a comment, right? So this node is classified as a comment node. So what are the various nodes we have? We have element nodes, we have text nodes, we have comment nodes. And the entire document, say you have document that is called the document node. So four different nodes we have. Element nodes are the HTML elements. Document node is the entire uh, document. And uh, text node is the text surrounded by these HTML elements and some plain text in your uh, web page. Common node is the comment. You also have attribute nodes. Attribute nodes are nothing but the attributes that define your HTML elements. Got it? So what we have seen so far is we have understood what is the document object. We have understood what are nodes and child nodes within the document object. We have also understood the classification of the various nodes within the document. Now let's just take a very simple demo. Let's see how we can write JavaScript code to manipulate an HTML web page. Let's create this. Let's move on to Visual Studio Code. Okay, the very first demo we'll take up is we'll create a web page and then we will use the document object to write some content to the web page from within JavaScript. So this is a demo on writing content to a web page using document object. So let me create this simple uh, web page and uh, we can have the title as document object model 
and uh, here what we are going to do is we're going to have the script so we're going to write some script uh, javascript here you can very well have this as an external file but for simplicity let me write the script within the body so this is javascript code say i don't have anything here in my web page i want to write some content so i'll call this object document and then the method write and then i can write some text here hello how are you doing so now you see from within the javascript i was able to manipulate my web page let me save this file so i was able to write to my web page from within javascript so what is that i was using here i was using the document object model the document is the main object dot write is the method pass the string manipulate the web page are you able to follow this so that's that's the use of this model without this model you'll not be able to access your web page using javascript and manipulate it so who is building this model the web browser builds this html dom for us so that we can use javascript and manipulate our web pages now let us move forward let's take a look at uh, more concepts here let's let's add more notes so let's move forward let's add more child notes to the body section here let me add a text node this is some text so this is some text actually represents a text node in the dom let me add an anchor tag with some test.css a dummy file i'll use here and this is another text node click here so what is that we see here is this is a text node this is an element node and this text is another node actually in the dom this is another text node we can go with other uh, elements to paragraph elements you can say this is a paragraph so again what you see here is this is uh, the html element and this is the text node and these two nodes are siblings or child nodes and uh, these are child nodes of the body element and these nodes are the child nodes for the head element head and body are the child nodes for the html element i hope you got all these things now let's add more html elements say this is a heading and maybe h2 this is heading 2 and uh, finally we'll also have a div tag and inside this div tag we can say hello how are you okay so we have created various child nodes within a body element now how to access all these nodes from within my javascript say i want to access all the child nodes under the body element for this i'm going to use document is the object dot body is that element which i want to access dot child nodes so this is going to return an array of child nodes so what are the child nodes every node text node element node comment node whatever that is part of this body section will be returned so we are getting an array of nodes so we'll get that in an array and what we have to do is we have to browse through the array i'll use a simple for loop here for let i of x and we'll browse through every node i told you that every node is an object so what are the things we are going to get here this x actually represents this node this node this node this node this node and this node so let's now print the node names for all our nodes so we'll just do document uh, document dot write and then we'll call every node and then we'll print the node name so you'll be able to see on the right hand side you have the node names for all the nodes under the body section see that's why i told you every node is an object you see here every node that's coming in so this is the text node when i do i dot node name you can see text text here represents the very first text node likewise the next node in our array is the anchor so you see a the node name is always given in capital letters for the html elements so this is the anchor tag next comes text what is this text node representing this specific node here next node is a paragraph that's why it's p and paragraph surrounds uh, some text and that's the text node 
so you are able to see h1 again some text so this is a node this is a node this is a node this is a node so that is the meaning here hash text is a node a is a node so this is a text node this is an element node so everything inside this document object model is actually a node you're going to get it as a node and access the properties of the node so here we have accessed node names if i just want to get the html elements alone and i'm not worried about the text surrounded by these html elements i can give dot children and i give dot children you'll be able to see the output so you get all the html element node names of all the html elements so you have anchor paragraph h1 h2 div and script and all the node names are always in capital letters and it's a string okay now uh, we'll just revert back to child notes we'll also include the text notes here dot child notes and uh, we'll also have a comment note to understand what is this comment note comment given so when i include a comment node what is the output we are getting here this is the comment okay so this is the comment node and it is uh, also containing some text so that's why we have text given here i hope you are now clear with the various uh, nodes what are the various nodes we have we have element nodes we have comment nodes we have text nodes we have the entire uh, document node too for instance if i want to print the document node name i can perform this document dot write i'll call document document itself is a node say document dot node name so what is the node name for document object you can see that is document got it if i want to access the html element how will i access the html element say document dot write i'll access the html element by giving document dot document element document dot document element dot node name what is the node name for document dot document element it is html so document dot document element represents html document dot node name is nothing but the entire document and we have seen the node names for all the other child nodes within the body is that clear okay with that let us conclude this session i hope you have understood the concept we have discussed in this session this session is all about a basic introduction to document object model what is a document why we say it's a node and what is the use of this model and uh, what are child nodes what is the hierarchy in the document object model and we have taken some small demos wherein we were able to access all the child nodes and print the node names of the child nodes so we'll be continuing this in our next session we'll look at the various other uh, properties of the child nodes we'll be accessing the child nodes impacting the styles of the child nodes and we'll also add an element remove an element replace delete an element we'll do a lot of things in the coming sessions on uh, document object model and if you have anything else, you can leave your comments and I'll catch up with you in the next session. Thank you for listening.